Part two, Azure Moon. Pegasus Moon, Valley of Torment. Having repelled the Imperial Vanguard, the kingdom must now supplement its meager forces. And so it requests reinforcements from Rodrigue, who is busy resisting Cornelia's army in Fraldarius territory. I received a reply from my father. You should read it too. Okay. Gilbert has filled me in on the details. He tells me you are in immediate need of additional troops. I would like to say that I will gather reinforcements and send them to the monastery at once. However, I cannot afford to leave the front lines for that long. Would you be willing to meet us south of Fraldaria's territory in ALL, the Valley of Torment? ALL is halfway between the monastery and our territory. There, I will deliver the soldiers you require. Valley of Torment lies on the border between Kingdom territory and Alliance territory. Humans dare not approach that place. Why? He's right. In Aelo, we can meet up with them without our enemy ever finding out. Once my old man delivers his soldiers to us, then our war against the Empire can finally begin. The path ahead will be a difficult one, Your Highness. Deadly in all likelihood. True. But what's the point in wavering now? Father, stepmother, Glenn, and even to do. I am certain this will bring them great joy. I know if I can just offer them Edelgard's head. I just know it. Halel, the Valley of Torment. Do we have a spy? Certainly we don't have a spy. I received a master seal. I don't have anything I can class into. Though. Because I don't really see a point in doing so. I think I have anyone that can currently. You know, 30 or higher. Yeah, I have people in their 30s, but none of them can actually. And I don't like the mortal savant armor. Falcon Knight. He's riding an alicorn. Let's 
let's just hold off and get some rest. Professor, may I ask you something? Sure. Mercenary or not, people will betray your trust. Quite correct. Thank you. Pardon me, Professor. It seems my proficiency technique never betrays. I suppose it's working. Warp, interesting. Felix, uh, just take some flowers. That went. How best to use this skill? I understand more every day. Cutting Gale, that's all good. Now I want to see if there's any support conversation, so let's explore. Yes, okay. Between Sylvain and Ash. Hey, Sylvain. Uh, can we talk? What's up, Ash? Looking for more life tips? Uh, no. But I did want to thank you for coming to my aid in battle the other day. <laughs> that? No need to thank me for that. No, really, I insist. If you hadn't been there, I definitely would have been finished. You really set a model for my training. I can only hope I'll be able to save someone like that someday. Again with the studying and the training? You're so stubborn you make Ingrid and His Highness seem downright easygoing. My advice on the whole thing is to just follow your instincts. That's what I do. If someone's in trouble, I help them. You don't need to be a valiant knight to know that. Doesn't matter if the person is an ugly old man or the cutest girl you've ever seen. You help them. So you're saying... Everybody's the same, deep down. It's our job to help anyone who needs it. Ah. What? You're looking at me funny. Did I say something wrong? No, no. I I'm just surprised, that's all. You're actually a much better person than I thought. Was that a compliment? I can't tell. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean any insult. I was just really impressed by what you said about helping people without even thinking. To jump in and help someone without any thought at all of reward. That is real virtue. <laughs> How did you say that with a straight face? I'd be embarrassed if I were you. Come on, Ash. You're an honest and overall great guy. You'll be an honest and overall great knight, too. 
Of course, people like you need to watch out for greedy people. Huh? Remember when I said I didn't need any thanks? Well, I didn't say anything about not wanting a reward. There's a girl, and we... We had a misunderstanding about who was allowed to date who, so, uh... I need to hang out in your room until everything calms down. Should only be a day. Or two. Tops. Sylvain? You never learn. Come on, Ash. Remember? If someone's in trouble, you help them. You want to be a great knight, yeah? Oh, fine. Since you helped me, but just this once. Alright, I knew I could count on you. You'll definitely be a great knight. He really would be a great person. If he could just stop all the scandal. Yeah, he probably would. Marcedes and Annette, I finally get to see this. Annie? Do you have a moment? Is this about what happened when we were shopping? If so, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Not so fast. I haven't properly apologized yet. So, I'm sorry. I just... I got scared. Imagine if something bad happened to you because of me. Mercy. You would have just run away if you were on your own, wouldn't you? Instead, you acted defensively because I was there. I dragged you down. Mercy, you're upsetting me! How dare you say that you dragged me down! You know why I was acting so recklessly? Because I wanted to protect my best friend in the whole world! Annie... Do you remember when we first enrolled at the Academy? It seemed like everyone was leagues ahead of us and so far out of reach. I felt completely hopeless. But because you were there, I didn't lose hope. So, don't say stupid things about how you drag me down or how you don't deserve things. Thank you for saying that. And again, I'm sorry. You're just so important to me. I know I could never find another friend like you. You stayed by my side through thick and thin. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. Mercy, can we be friends again? Of course, Annie. Friends forever. <laughs> Good. I don't know what I would have done if we hadn't found a way to make up. I'm sorry. I should have said something sooner. No, I'm the one who should have stopped being so stubborn and said something. <laughs> you know, now that everything's as it should be, I'm suddenly starving. <laughs> That's just like you. Come, let's go for tea. Oh, let's! <laughs> and we should have some mercy baked sweets on the side. I think I love you more than just about anything in the world. Ship it! You do? Oh, Anna, you're too sweet. Not as sweet as your baking. I love your baking more than anything in the world, too. Other than you. <laughs> well, I'm always happy to bake for you, Annie. Oh, I'm so happy to have you bake... Uh, back? <laughs> that was nice. Annette and Gilbert? Okay. Father! Father! Why do you pretend not to recognize me? That's her father. Annette, I... I've been looking everywhere for you. Please stop treating me like a stranger. I can't bear it. <sighs> father, wait! How long will you keep avoiding me like this? I have lost the right to face you or your mother. This has nothing to do with rights. We're family. I'm your daughter. Indeed, you are my daughter. Yet I am no father. I am only a fool who abandoned his family. You really think it was foolish to abandon us? I do. Then the least you can do is apologize. I'm fine, but mother deserves as much. I finished my studies at the School of Sorcery and the Officer's Academy. I have a busy and satisfying life now. But Mother, she's waited for you to return all this time, living under my uncle's roof. I... I am sorry, Annette. 
I already told you. Don't say that to me. Apologize to Mother. Let her see your face. That I cannot do. I know you do not understand. But it is the way of things. As for you, Annette, say the word, and I will disappear from your life forever. For now, though, I must return to my duties. Father, how could you be so cruel? That's in the fields! Put this back on. I still think it's weird that he doesn't wear the sleeves. Mercedes. Empire seems like a good idea to me. The search for Lady Rayo. I suppose Dimitri might still pose a problem, though. He I get the feeling. Advanced drills. Reason. Ash and Annette are at the fishing pond. And there's Annette. If we can take back the kingdom, we'll recover our soldiers. And some food and supplies too, I bet. Most That's kind of the reason I'm going to the kingdom. people in the kingdom waiting for our help. Even His Highness understands that. I'm sure of it. Do you think he just doesn't care about anything other than fighting Edelgard anymore? I don't know. You, you may be right. I don't know. He wasn't always like this. No, 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 no. Ash is just over here. There he is. The kingdom capital or the imperial cap? If we tried to take on the empire like this, would we really stand a chance? No. With House Fraldarius under attack, they. On the other hand, I. another trout. Yeah. The golden fish. Interesting. Concur. Oh. Meeting reinforcements in the, in that land of oppressed. It also means we advanced drills, sword, spear. Yeah. Help me out with the lance. Flames in here too somewhere. Say no. Flying is just further up, as is Gilbert. <sighs> Professor.
this map's still a little tricky to navigate. These past five years, but I wonder what he would. I have a request. I'm getting the head. Plane is right here. It has been only five years, yet so much has changed. Half of the kingdom has fallen to the Empire. Skirmishes are rife throughout the Alliance. Despite such tumult, we look upon the same sky, unchanged by the storm happening beneath it. Do you wish we could return to those days? It's true. It's just like all those years ago. Indeed. I gazed up at the same sky with mother and father. It does not feel so long ago at all. Wait, but how would you know, Professor? Strategically speaking, our best though. Hmm. What do you think? Uh, advanced drills all I care about right now. Sword. It's time for the mission. That's available until the 24th, okay. So, I've got plenty of time to do that. That's gonna help with Annette and her father. That's just depressing. Yeah, I know how support works. Thank you very much. Having received the Kingdom Army's plea for aid, Rodrigue has agreed to provide soldiers. In order to meet up with their reinforcements, the Kingdom Army sets out for Alel, the Valley of Torment. This valley isn't a place I'd care to return to. After the chilliness of Fargus, I can't seem to adjust to this extreme heat. Historically, there have been battles whose outcomes were determined in part by the climate. You can't argue that this heat isn't a factor. <sighs> in conditions like these, who knows what will become of our morale. Professor, be honest. How are you holding up? I'm fine. I would have never imagined it would be like this. Monks once used this area as an ascetic training ground because of the intense environment. They say Alel was born of the goddess's rage. I've never heard that. If you believe the legends, this valley is evidence of the goddess's judgment, passed on humanity for its corruption. The forest that once covered the surrounding area was burnt to ash by a pillar of light that descended from the heavens. That legend fueled belief in a place of torment between our world and the next, where one's sins are purified in the cleansing flames. Nonsense. Sins are not so easily washed away. Indeed. 
and there are no accounts of such a place in scripture. Yet those who cannot face their own sins have no choice but to cling to the idea. Uh, I just don't think I can take this heat anymore. I think I'm starting to see things. Near those mountains over there. Is it just me? Or is there a group of people gathered there? No. It would seem you are not hallucinating after all. Are those Rod Rieg soldiers? No. But their banner is that of... <gasps> no! It can't be. Empire. This House Rose banner. They curried favor with that witch and sold out Fargus. We messed up. There must have been a spy among us. Will you have us meet them in battle? Or wait for Rodrigue to arrive? There is only one option. How kind of them to save us the trouble of killing them later. Aren't they your former... They sold out the kingdom, right? I will not repeat myself. That They're traitors. To the Grey Lion. It's a waste of breath to exchange words with one such as him. His Highness is correct. He is not an opponent whom we can expect to negotiate with. Everyone, prepare for the attack! Well, where's a traitor to fight? Let's do it! Da 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 map. I don't like how long these loading times can take. I'm not the most patient of individuals, if you couldn't figure that out. I'm sure you could, though, as you've seen by my Trails of Cold Steel Let's Play. I am not a patient person. At all. This will do. This will do swimmingly. Defeat enemy commander. The Valley of Torment. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. That man who raises the lion's flag? Lord Gwendol. He is an elder knight who serves House Rome. Gwendol would, without thought, fight any battle if ordered. There is no chance of negotiating with him. Let's do it. Aelel is a deadly place. Flames burst from the ground with no warning. Sane people usually avoid it. So the flames of torment burn your sins, your life, your everything. If you wish to spare yourself the goddess's wrath, tread lightly. I've been here before. We're on a net's not a net's uh Ingrid's paralogue. I can handle this. There's a lot, but this is something I can handle just fine. What's the plan? Bring them in. Keep Welcome your distance. I'm your girl. Ready when you are. I'd be honored. At your service. My orders? Let's go. I'll cut through. What's my strategy? Age takes its toll. and learn. Whatever it takes. All for our future. Nicely done. Her 
enemies are my enemies. There's no turning back now. There is still more to learn. It's my duty. I've still got... Too weak for this world. I must kinda wish you would have avoided that. That's all I'm saying. Could have opened with that. It was the all I'm saying. Way. You're really going for it. Thank you. Killer bow. Ooh, that's nice. That's how you open with a crit. Take notes, Ash. Seriously, Sylvain. Nicely done. Obvious. Another victory. A chess key. Well, I'm gonna need that anyway, so let's put the concoction away. Thank you. Don't bother haunting me. That took two. Just be careful. I can't move! It's my duty. Yes. Of course. That's what it is. Reassuring. Two come. There's another chest over there, so I'm gonna have to... Get 
did zero all over that way to get the X to get another key. Leave her alone, dude. Could have opened with. Rodriguez. So Cornelia has planted spies even inside Garrett Mark. The shield of Fargus has appeared. We can expect more out of him than the young ones. Or if Rodriguez is defeated, let's keep him safe then. Out of chest keys. Damn. Shot. I fight for Lady Rhea. I've got. Disappointing. Yeah. I owe you Should remember to stock up on door on chest keys. What's the plan? of doubt long ago. That's what you get. Be in vain. Not much. You fought well. Yeah. 
Oh, there's even one beyond S? Interesting. <laughs> Does of I am Gwendol, the Grey Lion, a knight by the hand of Count Rome. Do your worst. As you wish. I'll handle this. No way I can lose here. Yeah. Too slow. I'm not a kid anymore. That's what you get. This. Cyril's fucking him up. Let's keep our guard up. He's not gonna kill steal me. Interesting. We can't be careless. A bolt axe. So helpful. Just a scratch. Appreciate it. I'm still here. Probably One S hit. plus. Keep him in one piece. My orders? Just a scratch. I'm your girl. That helps. my strategy.
must leave them well. I'd be honored. Oh, I have a chest key! Ash! A silver shield! Awesome! Thank you. Let's go. I was just stronger. I'm almost certain the prince will have something to say to him. Gonna need you to move! You knew the odds. There are many ways to fight. It is decided. Try to keep up! Have you two, have you lot ever heard of no kill stealing? Much appreciated. Come on, get out of the way. Maybe I can get a javelin or a short spear or something. There we go. as a lion is degraded to a mere traitor's underling. A traitor's underling? That's upsetting, your highness. I am and always have been a knight of House Rome. How dare you? You are nothing but a lowly beast scavenging for scraps. You have forgotten the dignity of knighthood. I may be lowly, but this beast is devoted to his master. I had better kill the pet and deliver its head to that master. Good. The kill is mine. Behold your fate at the hand who holds the sword of the Creator. So I have found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. I feel my strength building. It is the way of knights to follow their master's orders without argument. Lord Gwendal was a good man. Now he is just a corpse, nothing more. Let's go. Rodriguez is waiting for us. I become so numb, I can't feel you there. Become so tired, so much more aware.
Nice work, Cyril. Wow, my saves are very unorganized. I need to get th these edited so I can have organized save files. It's been too long, Your Highness. But try to temper your joy, will you? This is a war, after all. To say such a thing at a time like this... You have not changed one bit. Don't let looks deceive you. I've had a rough go of it ever since I crossed blades with those traitors in Ferdiat. When I heard you'd been executed, I rushed there as fast as I could, blind with fury. When I got there, I was fed some garbage about not being able to see your body. The next thing I knew, I was gripping my blade and... <sighs> Gilbert, you have done well to locate His Highness. I am truly grateful. And you, I have you to thank as well. As a professor, it was my duty. Well, we are in your debt. I will repay you for this someday, I swear it. And you, Felix. You have also done well to bring His Highness here. <laughs> tell us all you know, Rodrigue. I'm afraid there's not much to tell. You are aware that the western region of the kingdom was taken by the Empire, correct? Yes, so I have heard. They are now calling it the Fargus Dukedom, or some nonsense. If you know that much, then the rest won't take long. Enemy or not, it's undeniable that Cornelia's plan was nothing short of genius. After seizing power, she invited the Imperial Army to Ferdiat. There, she reorganized her troops and then sent soldiers to hunt me down. Because of that, we were forced to act defensively, and now we're being forced into a difficult battle. She's been controlling the situation all along. So that's been the witch's plan from the start. <sighs> I should have killed her ages ago. Your Highness, Ferdiad is in a terrible state right now. Yeah, I noticed. The tyranny is unbearable, and so the rebellions are endless. Refugees starve to death in the streets. If I may speak freely, Your Highness. We should change course for Ferdiad and take down those traitors before we embark to Enbar. There's no time for that. We must annihilate Enbar before all else. Think this through. I understand wanting to destroy the Empire and the Emperor. I want that so much it hurts. But which is more important, the dead or the living? Silence! No, Dimitri. You will hear me out. Are you asking me, asking the dead, to forgive that woman? No, no, I would not ask that of you. What I am asking is that you allow us to prioritize the Kingdom Capital over the Imperial Capital for now. As Lambert's close and trusted friend, I am confident that he would have advised the same. Do not dare to put words in the mouths of the dead. They are your words alone, even if you borrow their lips. Until I offer up that woman's head, Father will remain a slave to his lingering regret and hatred. Even now, he suffers. It is ceaseless. As we waste time with idle chatter, his suffering continues! <sighs> you are my king. Our king. Wherever you lead, we will follow. But your highness, there are those who take up their sword in the name of revenge, and yet along the way, lose the strength and composure to follow through. You would do well to bear that in mind. Ah, I nearly forgot. Take this, Your Highness. The time has come for it to be wielded by its true master. Erikvar? The hero's relic once wielded by my father. The very same. I managed to steal it back from one of Cornelia's underlings in Ferdiat. Understated as ever, father. It must have been a true struggle to get it back. I... I am grateful, my friend. Gilbert. Professor, may I request something of you? I wish yes. to fight at your side. Yes! Senile already, old man? Who will protect our territory? I expected it would come to this, so I left those matters to my younger brother. He has my complete faith. I must keep my promise to our fallen king, to my dear friend. 
What promise? A very old one. I swore it nearly ten years ago. Now then, your highness, let's destroy the Empire together. My men and I will spare no effort. Mm. I pray that you are right, and that this will save the kingdom. Well, okay. It is a lance. Our orders are to capture Enbar by striking the enemy's stronghold directly. How familiar are you with the geography of Fodlin? Not very familiar at all. The kingdom and the empire are separated by the impassable Ogma Mountains. Legend has it that Saint Seros once crossed over those mountains to fight against the fell king Nemesis. But don't fool yourself. Leading a large army over such steep mountains would be near impossible. In order to infiltrate the Empire, we have no choice but to go around the mountains, either to the east or to the west. Well, how about from the east? Yes, I agree. The Alliance is currently split in two. Those who stand with the Empire and those who are against it. Leading the Imperial faction is House Gloucester, while House Regan leads those who oppose. We should take advantage of their internal conflict and proceed east along the mountains until we reach the Great Bridge of Murden in Alliance territory. Why there? The Aramid River divides Alliance and Empire territory. There are many large bridges that cross it. However, the Great Bridge of Murden is by far the largest, and it is also closest to the monastery. I believe you crossed that bridge five years ago on your journey to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. That's risky. What if the Empire and the Alliance both attack us? I'm afraid it's a possibility, but it's still more practical than passing through the West. Perhaps our next move should be to contact House Regan and request their cooperation. Do you think they'll help us? Claude of House Regan is the leader of the Alliance and is firmly against the Empire. They are the enemy of our enemy. In other words, hopefully. A friend. Claude is a friend. Are you suggesting that we ask House Regan to engage the Gloucester soldiers? I am. If we take the bridge, then House Gloucester will no longer be able to receive support from the Empire. There's no way a man as wise as Claude would refuse our request. And once we manage to capture the Great Bridge and gain a foothold into the Empire, then we cross Grander Field and head south toward Enbar. But if we get attacked from both sides, We'll have to fight people from the Alliance, won't we? Speaking of House Gloucester, I wonder how Lawrence is holding up. If we meet him again, it will probably be as enemies. To be honest, I'd rather avoid seeing him altogether. If you do not wish to kill familiar faces, do not tarry over the corpses of the dead. <laughs> Good advice. Prepare yourselves. It is time to steal your souls for the task at hand. Yeah. That's... That, that's rough. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I continue onward with the main story in hopes of getting Claude on our side to fight Edelgard. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.